Hello and welcome to another one of my videos. Uh, in this one we're going to be looking at putting units into houses. Now there are several different methods of doing that. If we place a unit down on the map, for example, and give him a waypoint while hovering on cursor over the house, we're going to get an insert waypoint box. And that will show here on the left a new option that you don't usually have on normal waypoints and that's the house position. Now the house positioning system is just Armour's way of determining what is a good place for an AI to stand in a house. So let's say number five for example here and you'll see the waypoint has a little red square next to it. So when we press preview he's going to walk into position number five in this house. That's quite useful to know that there are nine positions in this house because we can now move on to scripting units to start in those positions. And what I'll just do is write something quickly and I'll explain to you how it works. And welcome back. So what I've done is I've put a missile troop down and in his initialization box I've written a bit of code and I'll just walk you through that code and the code is this. Uh, this is referring to the unit itself. So this set pause, set pause you can essentially read as teleport if you want to. And then within these brackets we're telling it where to go, or where to teleport to. And that is get pause nearest object building what position one um, so there's two things here you need to concern yourself with and the first is nearest object and what we're referencing is the buildings ID and I'll show you how to get that in a second and then building pause we already know what this is from the waypoint and we know that there are nine different building positions in the building we're looking at so this ID here we can get by pressing the ID tab, <laughs> funnily enough. And if you see the ID tab, every single object in building has now popped up with an ID tag. And I'm looking at the one here in the middle, and all I've simply done is write what I see into this box. And what's going to happen here, as soon as the game starts, he's going to be teleported into that building position within seven one two one two. So I'll sit preview and we'll have a look what happens. We'll follow our guy from the waypoint into the house. And he's gonna go off to his waypoint. I know for a fact that one is upstairs here and here we'll find our missile troop. Now this building's a little bit different to buildings I've normally seen. Usually the lower numbers are on the downstairs and the higher numbers are on the upstairs. Uh, in this building it seems to be the opposite way around for some reason. So this is building position 1. I've put him into here and he's teleported to this location at the beginning of the game. There is a simpler way to do this with scripting and I'll uh, show you how to do that now. Now we can change this code, so what I'm going to do is copy and paste that unit and what I'm going to change is instead of get pos, I'm going to use nearest building. I'm going to get rid of nearest object and its um, brackets and I'm going to hit OK. Now what this is going to do is this is going to put it in building position 1 of the nearest building to the unit. So if I put that there, it's going to appear probably in that building. <laughs> now the reason I showed you the ID way of doing it first is because 1 is more accurate and 2, sometimes you have buildings made up of multiple buildings if that makes sense. As you can see here there are several different parts of this house and if you go to a building like at the airport terminal on Altus you'll see that 
the building is made up of lots of different buildings that all have their own different IDs in reality, even though it appears as one building. Um, so let's just test this one here. He should go into building position one of the nearest building to him, which is the same building we've been working with. Aha, beat that guy to the door. Right, um, and that's that, really. That's pretty much all we can do with the um, building IDs. What I'll show you now is a way of placing units anywhere you want, and that's simply setting their height. And I've got a cool little trick for you that I've only just learnt myself today. And what we'll do, I think, is put a MG nest on the scaffolding which is outside this window. So I'll just uh, exit out of the game. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a trigger. And I'm going to set that to Radio Alpha. If you're not familiar with Radio Alpha, um, you can access the radio commands by pressing 001 and that will activate the trigger. In the triggers on activation field, I'm going to put in a command and that is copy to clipboard. And what it's going to do is it's going to locate the ATL position of player. Now, player is a command that refers, well, the player reads differently on each machine in a multiplayer game. As we're in single player, player is just going to refer to me as I'm the only playable character on the map. And this is quite useful, as I'll demonstrate, because it will record the position and copy it to my clipboard of anywhere I stand. So it's going to take into consideration the X and Y axes, and it's going to also take into account the height. So if I come to the top here, and I press 0, 0, 1, what I've done now is actually copied my current position to my clipboard and I can tab out the game and I can open up I don't know something like Word or Notepad and I can copy in my current position. You'll see I've also prepared a little bit of code here and that is this set pos alt um, and what that will do if I paste this into any unit in the editor it will put them in that position the one thing this doesn't record is the direction the unit's facing. So if I put this unit on the road here, for example, and have him facing, let's say, just straight out from the building, he's going to be start on this scaffolding here, as I'll demonstrate by hitting preview. And he's going to be facing the way we put him. And there we go, we can see he is in the exact position that I was stood before. And that's a really useful way of um, getting a unit into a position. Uh, thanks to Sasha for showing me how to do that today. Um, <laughs> I did not know that. Hopefully this video has been useful to you. Um, thanks for watching. What I will also add to the description of this video is a few useful commands. Uh, you can just copy and paste these into a unit. And what they will do is a number of things, like do stop will make the unit stop, uh, but he'll be able to pivot still. Disable AI move will disable him from moving completely. And this set unit pause up. Um, that's going to make the unit always stand up because sometimes when they're in a firefight they'll lie down which is a completely useless thing for them to do in a building um, and it also looks better if all the units are stood up when you're doing building clearances so I'll add these to the description as well uh, there's a little bit of notes I've added for them as well so thanks for watching and goodbye